Hi, I'm David Blattner from InDesign Secrets and Creative Pro. And as you know, these days a lot of conversations happen in text chats through Facebook, SMS, or one of many other tools. So over here on the left, I have a chat that was sent to me by an InDesign user named Jacob. It came from an app called WhatsApp, and he wants to format it quickly. So my goal is to take this chat and turn it into this, like the example on the right, in just a few minutes. Now the only reason I can do this is that I've spent some time setting up paragraph styles and character styles in advance. So for example, I can click here in this first paragraph, come over to my paragraph styles panel, and click on person A. And you'll see that it formats the text with paragraph shading and indents and space before and after. Now taking the time up front to make styles is the key to formatting a long document quickly. So great, I've applied the style to one paragraph, but I have hundreds of these, and I also need to get rid of the names and change the timestamp and stuff like that. Fortunately, InDesign's Find Change dialog box is going to let me do it all really quickly. First, I'll close this document on the right because I don't need that anymore. Next, I'm going to open the Find Change dialog box by pressing Command F or Control F on Windows. So the first thing I'm going to do here is move that timestamp to the end of the line instead of the beginning. So I'm going to click on the Grep tab of the Find Change dialog box, and in here, in the blank Find What field, I'm going to type a caret, which just means the beginning of the paragraph, and then I'll type two different sets of parentheses. They're blank right now, but I'll fill them in in a moment. Followed by a dollar sign, which means the end of the paragraph. I don't really need that, but I like to have it there. Then inside the first parentheses, I'll type dot plus question mark. That just means find anything. And then a backslash and then a square bracket. So in other words, it's going to find anything up to the square bracket. Then in the second parentheses, I'll once again type dot plus question mark, which again means everything else to the end of the paragraph. Now down here in the change to field, I'm going to type dollar sign two, and then a backslash n, and then a dollar sign one. That means find anything that was found in the second group, followed by a forced line break. That's like a shift line break, followed by everything that was found in the first group. You know, it just swaps them. Let's take a look. I'll click Change All, and you'll see that 209 replacements were made. And all the timestamps are at the end, on their own line. Gotta love that grep feature. Next, I'm going to switch to the Text tab, and I'll search for Space, and then M-O, colon, and then Space. That's the text here at the beginning of these paragraphs, right? Now I'm going to leave Change To blank, but down here in the Change Format field, I'm going to click inside that blank space. Let's move this over a little bit so we can see. And I'm going to apply a paragraph style. I'm going to apply the person A style and click OK. So in this case, it'll find every paragraph that has this text in it and it'll apply the person A style. Let's try. Click Change All and 117 replacements made. Pretty good. Now it left the text in there and I don't actually want that. So I'm going to come over here and click this little uh, trash can icon to get rid of the change format and I'm going to click Change All one more time. This time, it actually deleted that text. Now, let's do the other paragraphs. Those are space, then Tom, then colon, then space. And once again, I'm going to apply a paragraph style, but this time I'm going to choose Person B. Change All, click OK, go ahead and delete that, Change All, OK, and all of that text disappears, and all the paragraph styles are applied. So now we're just about done. But see that little pink rectangle up here with an X in it? That's just a junk character that I want to get rid of, but I have no idea what that character is or how to type it. No problem. I'll select one of them up here, and I'll right-click on it, and here in the context menu I'll choose Load Selected Glyph in Find. I love this feature. It just loads that character up into the Glyph tab of the Find Change dialog box. For some reason it's not showing what it is, but that's fine. The Change To is blank, so when I click Change All, it's going to go through the entire document and delete all of those characters. So that's it. I'll go ahead and close this panel here. Now you can see there's still plenty of work to do here, like replacing these codes down here with real images, and I'll tackle that in a future movie. 
but for now, you can see that the Find Change dialog box is a huge help in cleaning up files and applying formatting. That's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials. And sign up to receive our free newsletter, the InDesign Tip of the Week. I hope someday we'll see you in person at the InDesign Conference. Thanks for learning with us.